Chairman Stauber, Ranking Member, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Nikki Martin, and I'm the President and CEO of Energeo Alliance. Energeo members are the geoscience companies and energy developers that use earth science to discover, develop, and deliver energy and low carbon solutions to our world. Many of our members operate in the US across the outer continental shelf and onshore and extensively in the Gulf of Mexico. Geoscience innovation has transformed energy, providing the data needed to see and develop the resources beneath our feet and off our shores while also reducing the footprint of energy exploration. Informed decisions regarding offshore energy development, including petroleum, wind, natural gas, and hydrogen, and carbon capture and storage can only be made with the evaluation provided by modern geoscience. We are the industry that is making energy possible for the world. And this is critical because 10% of the world does not have access to electricity and an estimated three and a half billion people do not have reasonably reliable access to electricity, meaning they spend more than 56 days per year without power. With the world population expected to increase to almost 10 billion by 2050, energy demand is expected to increase 34%. All sources of energy are required to meet this demand. Even with the fastest growth expected in alternative energy sources, by 2050, as you mentioned, Chairman, we'll need about 17 and a half billion barrels per year to be discovered, in addition to resources already discovered to meet this demand. In contrast, just last year, we discovered five billion conventional resources globally. While the increasing demand for energy leaves little room to argue exploration is not required, where the global industry invests will be influenced by where it can acquire geoscience data, good fiscals, and regulatory and policy structures that are based in risk and science. Congress enacted the Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act for the expeditious development of OCS resources to achieve national security and economic policy goals and reduce dependence on foreign sources. Geoscience is essential to achieving these goals as the only technology available to accurately image the subsurface and understand the nation's energy supplies before a single energy source is developed or single well drilled. Surveys conducted in the Gulf alone have informed an over five-fold increase in estimated recoverable reserves. Despite or precisely because of its importance, the permitting of this activity is too often stalled in regulatory reviews without accountable timelines and impacted by activists opposed to the energy development that may follow, whether that's natural gas, petroleum, or even wind. It's unfortunately easy to exploit the regulations in existing Marine Mammal Protection Act regulations governing the potential take of these activities. For example, although errors were discovered in the current Gulf of Mexico Geoscience MMPA regulation, three years ago, proposed revisions were not made until early last year and are still pending. In Alaska, almost every regulation issued for offshore exploration has been challenged in court by activists, exploiting the MMPA's ambiguous provisions and duplicative processes. At least one petition currently has stalled for more than two years with unexplained delays currently preventing new geoscience surveys to update Alaska's North Slope. The hearing brief noted lack of resource estimates in the Atlantic. Six companies attempted to obtain survey permits that would have provided updated estimates to over 40-year-old data, but ultimately their quest ended in 2018 after nearly seven years toiling through a bureaucratic maze to obtain MMPA authorizations. Overly broad and unsubstantiated designations of critical habitat also add uncertainty to the regulatory process, like the area currently proposed across the heart of the Gulf of Mexico for the rice's whale, based on very little supporting data. Since 2014, the number of geoscience surveys mapping the OCS has declined. In order to stimulate new geoscience activity, which will inform the government's resource evaluation, regulation should provide predictability and promote competition and fiscal certainty. By setting reasonable deadlines in the application process and removing unnecessary duplication, Congress can ensure the agencies are accountable to existing statutory timelines and prevent future misapplication of the statute. Geoscience investment will also come with reinstating regular and robust lease rounds on the OCS and with also publishing the long overdue regulations for offshore carbon capture and storage. This too would stimulate new geoscience activity. 
We urge Congress to review OSLA, the MMPA, NEPA, and ESA, and pass meaningful modernizing provisions that will rectify existing delays for geoscience authorization. These are necessary steps to ensure the continued development of U.S. energy resources and low-carbon solutions for generations to come. Thank you.